Good morning, everybody. This is uh, last week's project, and I'll show you what I did. You probably already tell. I experimented with making a swamp cooler, and it's going to be a pretty quick video because I've already did all the testing and everything that I need to do. But I'm going to show you the different steps that I went through to test the temperatures and everything that swamp cooler would put out. First, show you what I did is. These coolers, uh, this is an old cheap uh, styrofoam cooler. If you go go to like Walgreens or CVS or Eckerd Drugs, pretty much any kind of drugstore, go to the dumpsters back behind them. You can find these coolers inside the dumpsters. This is what they ship medication in that has to stay stay cold or stay refrigerated. They always throw these coolers away after they, they've put their the medications inside the refrigerator. But anyway, what I did is I took a, a ABS, a 4 inch ABS elbow, and I have a uh, 12 volt fan that plugs into a cigarette lighter, 12 volt plug. And all I did was traced around, traced around and cut it out with an X-Acto knife. Uh, you could probably just use a sharp knife. That's all you really need. Then the next thing I did is once I mounted it in there, I was going to put this collar on there, but I didn't see no reason for it because it fits right right there. Uh, this is just a prototype. Uh, styrofoam in the back of a truck with other equipment won't last long. But I did want to show you uh, what I did. Okay, so to test it, the first thing I did, I took a... Uh, block of ice or a jug with some ice in it I set that down in there and put the fan down in there on the on one that I'll make if I'm going to decide to make one to, to use you know permanent then I'll, I'll mount the fan inside of it okay and this is no more than a jump station a Schumacher uh, jump station like that in okay now the temperatures what I used to measure the temperatures was with a, a regular refrigerator thermometer that I used to use at nursing home whenever I worked nursing home to test the refrigerator temperatures at okay so the first first thing I tested with air just going across the uh, the jug of ice let me turn it on and The first temperature I got with just a jug of ice, I come out with, uh, I measured it at 96 degrees, and I got it down to 94 degrees, running it across like that, just with plain block of ice. I didn't think two degrees was that, that big of a difference. So the next thing I did is I decided that I would uh, put some water in okay so I've seen on the internet that if you put a little bit of water in it that'll help a little bit of condensation so I put what I did is I filled the water up until it was halfway up the, the jug of ice I give it about a half an hour for the for the water to cool down to the ice temperature once I once the water cooled down to the ice temperature, which was 32 degrees, you know that's that's normally what it ought, your your ice temperature is going to be is 32 degrees. Put it back on and ran it across again. Okay, the temperature I got here was it went down to 86 degrees. Oh, my mistake, my mistake. It went down to not. To 88 degrees from 96 to 88 degrees I tested this inside of a tent cot a small small cot with a tent over the top of it uh, but right now you can really tell the difference in it right now the temperature um, you see right now the thermometer is set at uh, 70 we'll say the temperature right now is at 70 about 76, 77 degrees, something like that. But 
But anyway, I'm not going to say do all these temperatures, wait for the time to set up. But anyway, you can tell a pretty good cooling difference right there. Okay, so the next thing I decided I would try to do is to leave the jug and the water in there. And then take some ice cubes, regular ice cubes, and throw them in there. Okay. Then run that, that off. Okay. Then set that off. Turn the fan back on. I let it sit a half an hour again after that, after I did that. Then run it across. It's pretty cold air coming out there now. And I dropped down from 96 degrees down to right about 84 degrees in the temperatures. Each time I, I give it about a half an hour, half an hour to, before between temperature uh, readings. But anyway, that, that was a big difference. And if, if you're trying to sleep in the summertime in like an enclosed area where it's, you know, 95 degrees, and you're, you drop it down to, to 84, 85 degrees, that's a big difference. That's a big enough difference for you to be able to be comfortable to be able to fall asleep. So, you know, there's a lot of different, different ways that people make the swamp coolers and everything. This was kind of my rendition, and this is what I was trying to think of just for a... Uh, just to test it out was using this this uh, styrofoam cooler probably if I get a hard plastic cooler what I'll do is line it with uh, reflectix and line it with styrofoam to give us some extra uh, insulation and then I think the temperature will even go down any further now some people told said that they had a problem with condensation you know with water being thrown out here I didn't have no problem with that I didn't I didn't feel no condensation or anything it was perfectly fine, I, so I didn't have no problem with that. Maybe it was because the humidity wasn't real, real high that day. You know, I, I don't know. And it may be, you know, you may have condensation build up if the humidity is real high. But anyway, wanted to show you what I was testing out last week, what I was messing with last week just to see. Uh, it's going to be fall, so I've got, got all winter to come up with a cooler, you know, to, to rebuild a cooler. But I, I thought that was pretty interesting. I'd, I've been wanting to make one for a while and test it out. I finally got around to it. Okay, if y'all have any questions or comments or anything, y'all know how to do the replies. It's Thursday morning. Anyway, that'll be all for right now. Y'all have a good weekend. Bye.